Plants have different ways of dealing with an alkaline environment. If it's very salty, they have to figure out a way to deal with the salt. Tamarisk ramesissima doesn't tell us much, but salt cedar does. So we're going to do a test, scientific experiment. We're going to taste this. I guarantee you this tastes salty. What's happened is the cells have excreted little salt crystals. And this thing is covered with salt that it's extracted from the salty soil. It's a survival technique that works very well, but it's... Pardon me. Not, not a good science experiment, I can uh, attest to that. You can never have too many bees. Yeah, it's a bee. Unless it's a wasp. Well, it's a hymenoptera. Bees have forked hairs. Wasps do not. Bees are heavy-bodied. And so are some wasps. So, hey, we know it's an insect. We know it's pollinating. You can see the leaves are very feathery. This helps to function in an arid environment. You can see the sun's rays don't meet the blade flat on. So tamarisk is well adapted to a Mediterranean climate. It does very well in Southern California. In fact, it's highly invasive, this particular species. Some of the species are less invasive. Some are trees and don't cause major problems. But this one, even if you chop it out, it comes back. The seeds are small and all over the place. So getting rid of tamarisk along riparian areas is not easy in Southern California. Mm -hmm.